Today's telecast is presented live from Baltimore Scaryland. And we're at b and Spike Stadium for today's game. The stadium is sold out and the atmosphere is electric. The fans want to see some hard-hitting carnage. <laughs> and so do I. I heard the city was famous for crabs. So if you get lucky tonight, Grim, make sure you take a shampoo with that quell lotion and see a doctor. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's going to have it all. The Malice Hellboys take on the Baltimore Razors. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yeah, Malice, he's going to hit him now. They're all out. Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. Hey, you just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. Say that again. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Third down and the punter is warming up. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Tell our viewers what you would do. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder. It's a glitterception. What's that, Grim? A fabulous hell with the brain scrim. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot eight. Now it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps on side. If he was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho killer Keska say, what the fu 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 fuck? <laughs> and it's first and ten. And the offense. 
Jones jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And they call a ginormous dirty trick. He's so big that the last time he's dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot Anyone in the mood for mutant tartar? He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Oh, and that quarterback threads the needle for a first down. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Caught for the first down. Totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Briggs. Very smart. Third down, and, well, good luck. was stuck to him like glue. Well, I want Sean Kicker make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a golf club. That wasn't a leg, you moron. That was Tripod Jenkins. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy and he gets three points for it. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? 
Second down and five. They're taking what the defense has given them. That's a four-yard gain on the reception. Hey, less than a wipe with a headache. And that'll bring up third down and inches. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. First and ten. Hot one, hot two. Now the QB is dinking and dunking the defense to sleep. <laughs> one yard on that pass. Second down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Three. The defense better look, and he's running like a moose right now. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And the defense recovers the ball. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. <laughs> We've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Ah, it's about time, Grim. And it's first and ten. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. Mm, it helps. Oh, it oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he just went off the rail of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And 
And it's first and ten. The defeat took a deep through projection. Now watch him stop all over his opponent. He's going to the races. Look at that little mutant run. I don't think you can see that, Grandpa. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. First and ten. It's a six yard game. And that'll be second down and four. for three. And that'll bring up third and one. A short but possibly essential field goal here. Short but essential. That's what they call bricks. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just get the points. Let's move on. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. First and ten. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? Second down and seven. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I had the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Go man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. I won. I two. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. for the extra point. And this guy couldn't hit the side of a fallout shelter. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's two minutes left in the half. I can't wait to the halftime. Holy smokes, he just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. Oh. 
And it's first and ten. Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't right now. What day is it? Man, what a hit that was. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in hand time. And it's first and ten. He picks up five on that play. They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's at the 10, and he scores! The offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from top. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and, uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Second down and ten. Uh, uh. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? <laughs> Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Somebody get that guy a beer, because he just saved me a thousand bucks. Incidentally, happens to be Bricks for the match of stupid time. This way the girls go! Oh, man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? They kicked the kicker's job in half? They just be... The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing in the hurry-up offense. 
you moron. I am so confused. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. The third quarter is about to begin, and if it's as much of a blowout as the first half was, we may see a riot in the stands. Well, that's going to happen either way, Grim. It's a $1 Red Bull crap and vodka jello shot day. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. You can't keep a good mutant down. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. I know I just said another hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. It's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Brix's mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. Hot. And one, two, three, two, three. And first down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about shit. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Uh, this new QB hit don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. <laughs> the way to get boom dead and down nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy ah uh, well he was a violent alcoholic a terrible father and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs <clears throat> but uh, i mean he was a great ball player uh, you know that's really what counts at the end of the day right second down and five oh that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life Third down and six. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. Well, that's a strange penalty call right there. I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and he don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. Yeah. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. The defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First and two. And the quarterback throws a murder ball. And that was a perfect pass. And he scores handily. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? Because I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Maybe
want more points, so they're going for two. force meets the explodable object. You two are taking some fire your time. Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. <laughs> and it's first and ten. of about three on that play. Second down and seven. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick and there's no way to stop him. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And Wildcats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're hands, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Oh, I love this dirty trick. Feet by bum bum. Stop him in the... At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he'd probably have an intercepted, though. Nelly, offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And it's first and ten. It's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. That was a good throw. Assuming he was aiming for the ground. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback's going to be hurting. Or dead. Or worse. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. He's got the ball now, and he's going to try and score. Oh, with the brain scrambler. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses that is. Second down in a very lot. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. Third down and never going to happen. With another pick, the QB says, I don't know how much throw interceptions, but oh, it's a punishment.
finishing hit. See that boo, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. First and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, Good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, then. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. Uh, uh. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular and rushes to kill the quarterback. And look at the QB run for his life. He's so fast. Nah, I just found out about that cheerleader pregnancy test. I'd run too. She's huge. First down and less than a yard. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! And it's first and ten. somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. Oh, holy smokes, he just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. You know, they say the first cut is the deepest, but damn, the rest were just as painful. Razors win by forfeit. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. I was it? Scrambles tomato soup. Wounds. Mm-hmm, good. The MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Yeah, right. Putting three words together for this guy is like you doing a Rubik's Cube. What's a Rubik's Cube? Moving on. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...